there all you good people, Joe from Joe's Computer Museum here. Today I'm going to review the Ethernet 2 card from A2 Retro Systems. It's a cool little device that allows you to connect an Apple II computer to an Ethernet network. So let's check it out. So as you can see, I've got an Apple II GS running here that I've installed this in. Sadly, no accelerator card. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, so we have this installed on slot one, and um, I went ahead and purchased the little uh, Ethernet uh, extension cord, that uh, little header connector that brings it out to the back, connected in there with screws, and if we look, yank on that, that doesn't come out, so that's pretty cool. Status lights, all that magic tell you how it works. So uh, now that we have this installed, we'll take a look at all the software that's available for the system. Now there's already uh, quite a bit of software available for the Ethernet 2. The developer of the Ethernet 2 worked with a lot of the software developers of the uh, most popular TCP IP packages for the uh, Apple II computers uh, to make sure that there would be software packages available upon release. Uh, of course, they're the big three names that I'm going to cover quickly. Uh, the Marinetti Link Layer Stack, that's basically a TCP IP stack for GSOS that allows uh, many uh, GSOS applications designed to use it to connect to the internet through the Ethernet too. There's a driver for that and they updated it and it's all, all that magic is there. Um, and then there's ADT Pro. We know what ADT uh, is. Apple Disk Transfer allows you to uh, copy disks from one computer to uh, your Apple II over serial, over uh, the audio connector if you want, but it supports the uh, Ethernet 2 uh, directly now, which is really cool. Uh, and of course, Contiki. Contiki, everybody knows what that is. That's the uh, that's that uh, cool 8-bit embedded micro IP operating system that runs on a whole bunch of different stuff, but they updated it for the, uh, for the Ethernet as well. So you can get on there surf the net with it, download files with it, create a web server with it. It's pretty cool. Um, all that stuff is available and ready to go. So let's uh, let's go ahead and actually check out some of the software on my Apple II GS with the Ethernet 2 to show you how it works. So the software we're going to go ahead and uh, show you here is ADT Pro. The developer of ADT Pro worked with the developer of the card to make sure that the software worked upon release and also was a good way to test the Ethernet 2 to make sure it worked correctly before sending it out to people. So I've already got this configured. I'm just going to go ahead and send a file here real quick. Just to see that it works. Oh, it's going to ask for my disks. I'm going to just go ahead and pick this one just because it happens to be there. And as we can see, it shoots, uh, shoots straight through. And that is sending through the Ethernet card over my network to my Windows PC. It uh, takes a little while to move, but you know, it's the poor old, uh, it's the poor old Apple II. She's slow, she's old. And we're finishing up here in just a couple of seconds, and it's done. Press a key to configure, or configure, I mean configure. And uh, we'll go ahead and I'll do a directory. And there it is. You can see it's in my. Uh, on my Windows computer there in the E drive, so everything's uh, set up and going. Well, I do have some caveats to talk about with the Ethernet, too. Uh, while it's not a negative mark against the card itself, uh, it's important to note that uh, using it is not for the faint of heart. Uh, it requires a really good understanding of how your Apple II works uh, and how your particular software works and how it needs to be configured specifically to work with the Ethernet 2. And uh, if you're going to be using any advanced software, web browsing specifically, uh, you're definitely going to want at least uh, 4 megabytes of RAM or a 4 meg card, so you have 5 point whatever, uh, and an accelerator card. Without that, it's an exercise in futility, really. Now, I did run into some problems myself in getting the device to work uh, correctly, and I don't think it's problems with the device itself. Uh, my attempts to use the card focused on Marinetti-capable apps, uh, ADT Pro, which we saw and worked fine, and Contiki. Uh, both ADT and Contiki worked just fine. Uh, I was surfing web pages with Contiki to my Mac, and it worked great. Um, and we saw ADT work, but the Marinetti applications refused to send and receive data. I don't know why I wasn't able to get it to work. Uh, I was able to configure the application with the right uh, TCP IP settings for my network and the applications on the GSOS uh, uh, operating system saw the IP address correctly, but they couldn't make external connections. Uh, devices on my network were not able to make connections 
back to the Apple II GS. So I don't know why that didn't work. Um, I also tried a pre-configured image that all I had to do was type in my IP addresses and that didn't work either. So um, I don't know if that's an issue with my particular particular Ethernet card or it doesn't like my actual Apple II, the uh, Apple II GS I'm using it in, uh, or maybe it's just user error. It's probably user error. If you plan to use the device with Marinetti, uh, the designer of the Ethernet 2 card will come to your rescue specifically because he has a disk image on his website that makes it relatively easy to get started and install Marinetti on your specific GSOS installation. Uh, he's got some other stuff in there um, uh, on the page that makes it really easy to get started with the device. Final thoughts? Get one really cool device. Um, when they come up for sale next, you should really look them uh, look them up and grab one. Um, is it useful? No. Um, is it fun to play with? Heck yeah! Uh, being able to surf the net on an Apple II GS, making the Apple II do th some do things it was never designed to do. That's the point. Apple II forever, right? So go out, and grab one. I'll leave links in the description down there wherever that is and um, you can go out and uh, take a look and if it's something you want to do go out and grab it I suggest it that's all for now see you later so now I'm gonna go ahead and send it here and I don't know we'll just do this And it failed. <laughs>